Hello Leos, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, before I begin, I just want to say something. Um, remember, guys, um, this is a general reading. <clears throat> this is not a personal reading, so I'm reading for a whole lot of people. Okay, if it doesn't resonate with you, watch your moon and rising sign. Okay, something gonna resonate somehow. All right. So, it is a general reading. <laughs> I'm just saying. And please, this channel is meant for positivity, love, okay? We don't need the negativity in this channel. We don't need no negative energy. We don't need no negative vibes. We need all good vibes over here, okay? It's too much going on in the world that we're so focused on the negative aspect, okay? And remember... It, the month is not even started yet, and people are already complaining. Remember, we're going into October, all right? So let's start, Leo. I'm sorry. I just had to let that out because people can be very um, rude sometimes, whatever. So, Leos, what do we have for your love reading for October 1st to the 15th? Let's take a look, okay? I have not seen these cards yet. So you have the Seven of Swords. Mm. Leo's, you have the four of ones. Mm. You have the full card. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. Then you have the sun card. Interesting. Then you have the five of ones. Okay. Okay. Then you have, very soon I'm going to start reading cards upside down because I feel like um, sometimes that is needed. You need the good and bad. And the ugly. Then you have the Ten of Wands. You have the Ace of Chalices, which is the Ace of Cups. Then you have the Seven of Chalices. You have two sevens here. You have um, Seven of Swords and Seven of Cups. Okay, Leo. So something's telling me that you, right now you guys are not speaking to your partner. Um, some of you that are married, I feel like the first two weeks of October, um, you guys, something happened where you guys are not speaking on speaking terms. Leo's, you and your partner, it could be an air sign, Libra, Libra Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like something happened where you and your partner are not talking anymore. Um, I also feel like um, someone is not wanting to communicate with the other. Um, I feel like, or maybe someone is sneaking off to do something. Okay? Also, I feel like someone could be lying and being deceitful or being manipulative towards their partner. This could be you, Leo, or your partner is doing this to you. And I feel like some of you are married. You guys are starting on a new journey through love. I feel like something is starting over. Either you or your partner is starting over. So basically, either some of you just add a little argument, you know, because I do see the five of wands here. So it's something some that there was some type of competition going on. There was some type of disagreement going on. Um... Someone was being probably um defensive. Um someone feel like they were probably it could be that some of you might feel like you're being attacked by your partner or by your ex partner. I feel like some of you some of you might have um gone through some type of divorce. And maybe right now you're not speaking to your partner. That's what I see. And maybe some of you that are not married. I see that right now you're not speaking to your partner either. You went through some type of um, disagreement, um, bickering, and so on and so forth. And that caused you guys to stop talking. Something happened. There was some truth that came out or some type of light that came out. And you found out something. Maybe that caused you guys to have this argument, okay? I'm going to get clarification on that. Give me a second. Um, 
And I feel like some of you guys are. Your the phase is done. This the cycle is over. Um, something new is going to begin. Um, I feel like you guys are tired of the relationship you're in. Maybe you're tired of the same type of relationship. Um, you want something new, something fresh, something with substance. Okay. And I feel like you guys will be getting that with the full and the full is on top of the um, Ace of Cups. So um, I know that you guys are going through some type of new journey. You guys are embarking on a new journey right now. Um, you guys are taking a leap of faith and going where the road leads you, basically. Um, you're not carrying the word what's going on. You see that snake on the floor? He doesn't even care about that snake. He doesn't even know there's a snake on the floor. Um, you guys are just going. Okay, there's a new beginning of love. There's a new love coming in. Um, or maybe this is you feeling fulfilled and love. Like you feel fulfillment and love. Okay. Um, I also just see that some of you guys, some of you guys have a lot of choices. Um, either that or some of you are smoking, which causes um your mind to be foggy. Um, also, I feel like some of you might be dreaming a lot too. Or you might be seeing some things in your dream. <clears throat> okay. So let me get clarification on. Spirit's giving me clarification for the five of wands. For Leo love reading for October 1st to the 15th. Thank you. Okay. You guys received the eight of pentacles. So that's telling you that. Some of you are working hard towards your partnership, okay? I feel like some of you are really, really working. I feel like maybe someone is putting in more work than the other. Maybe that's why you feel in the beginning, <clears throat> the beginning of the month, you felt like this, um, the Seven of Swords. Um, <clears throat> that's telling me that some of you are not talking or not communicating with your partner because due to the fact that you felt like you were doing more work than the other. One was feeling more work than the other. Or because there was a lot of competition. Whoever you're dealing with has a lot of options. Okay, this could be you or the other person. Whoever you're dealing with has a lot of options. And this is um, either a cup sign. Uh, I said cup sign. <laughs> A water sign, I meant to say, is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? It's it's like 2 o'clock here, so bear with me, guys. Um, yes, so this person has a lot of options, and there's a lot of competition, so there's a lot of people fighting for their attention, okay? That basically, that could be it, or you found out that, that there's a lot of people wanting this Wanting this person you're interested in attention. And I don't think you like that very much. Or you feel like there's someone that's trying to intrude. And you don't like that very much. Or some of you might be messing with someone that's married. So be careful of that. Also, some of you might be getting married too as well. And also, some of you... Oh, sorry about that. Some of you might be dealing um, with your home situation. Um, thinking about starting new things in your home. Also, some of you might be dealing with a, a Knight of Pentacles, which is a Virgo Taurus, a um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What is going on with my speech today? What? Okay. Um, I feel like if you're dealing with this um, Earth sign person, they will be making some type of offer to you. And you might be flirted, but I don't know if you're going to accept it. Or you might be the one. I feel like they're the one making this offer to you. Um, male or female. Okay. Or maybe you guys are making this offer to this um, earth sign person. But I feel more so it's them coming to see you and making this offer. There's a new beginning going on on the horizon. Um, if you just take your mind off daydreaming. Um, you could get some good stuff, okay? 
Um, also, let me get clarification for Ten of Wands. Please give me a clarification card for the Ten of Wands. Give me a Thank you. Yay! So there is an ending of cycle that ended. There was something that ended. Some type of ending of cycle. And some of you might be um your marriage life, your family life. You might be um spending time with family and friends. Um also there could be some money coming in inheritance um from your family. Leo's, you might be receiving some type of inheritance. You might also be um accumulating profits at this time. Um you might be making a lot of money. Um receiving money. There's a lot of abundance um in the first two weeks of October that I do know. So that's what I have for you guys, Leo. Um remember if you would like a private reading, you could contact me at CindyGold28 at gmail.com. Also don't forget to push the button below to subscribe. I'm so happy that we're up to a hundred subscribers. I think it's a hundred and four. My heart smiles so much. I thank you guys so much for the support and love. Um, I am thankful and grateful, okay? Um, also, I will be doing a live reading soon because we are up to 100 sus subscribers now. So I will do um, a free reading. I will be doing free readings on live um, finally. Um, also... What else was I going to say? I think that's it. I will be doing the free readings on live soon. I'm going to let you guys know um, when I will be doing these free readings. So, um, also don't forget to like and share within friends and family. Also, don't forget to comment below, please. Positive vibes only. All right? Only vi positive vibes I, I invited here. Okay? No party crashes. Just positive vibes. Okay? Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.